Hey guys and welcome to today's patch notes update for the new content coming out in patch 4.0.0 uh for the silent hill dlc now this is something that a lot of us have been looking forward to uh some people thought it was Candyman. some people thought it was pinhead someone thought it was shrek you know but we actually got pyramid head and silent hill uh for today we're gonna look at the ptb patch notes for patch 4.0.0 uh, let's start taking a look at it. Unfortunately, they didn't show all of the patch notes in the game So we're gonna have to go to the browser here now The first thing we're gonna look into is the features and content They added sets two or more linked cosmetic Customization pieces that are always equipped together. So if you ever play some RPGs and stuff uh, like Diablo or World of Warcraft they have set items that are going to be linked together to give you a benefit. In this case, these are customization pieces that will always be linked together, such as a head and a chest, a chest and a legs, um, a body and a weapon for killers, for example. Uh, so that can be really cool. I haven't looked at those. Added a new rarity for customiz uh, customizations for legendary options. Uh, based on what they're saying during the announcement uh, stream, that these legendary customization outfits are going to pretty much change the character completely in some way. Uh, let's see if we can take a look at this real quick. Let's go into the store. I don't think they have, they might have some legendary customizations. No, they don't. Not just yet. So when they get that out, we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Unfortunately, since this is the PTB, that's not gonna be out just yet. They added the new survivor, Cheryl Mason, from Silent Hill. Uh, she is from Silent Hill 2. For those who are keeping track, uh, Cheryl Mason is actually from Silent Hill 2. So this is her right here. So, or sorry, 3. Anybody who's played would know about uh, all about her. And then they added the new map, the Midwich Elementary School. That's right, we have two elementary or two schools now. Uh, they also added a new killer, the Executioner. Everybody else will know him better as Pyramid Head. That's right, we get Pyramid Head, I believe, from Silent Hill 2. Uh, he is pretty beefy. If you haven't gotten a chance to take a look at him, take a look at him. He seems he's pretty fun. Added the ability to sort a character's customization inventory by rarity, outfit, or item name. So if you have a lot of cosmetics or a lot of customization out, uh, options, this will give you a way to find that stuff much quicker and a lot easier. Adjusted the user interface layout scaling to better accommodate 4K resolution screens. Uh, for those of you who haven't gotten on the PTB yet, you'll notice if you're used to the 3.7 um, mid chapter update it changed the ui a bit this is going to bump that ui again so your user interface is probably going to look uh, a bit bigger than you might be used to let me see if i can give you guys a little bit of an example here so you may notice that the ui is slightly larger all across the board especially uh it may be smaller for your 4k stuff Balance clown no longer slowed when throwing bottles. This might be a good fix. It might be a fix for something bigger Clown was one of the little uh, one of the killers that were a little underpowered or seems that they need a little bit of a rework So hopefully this is gonna go a uh, step in the right direction towards that On down to bug fixes dead dog saloon uh, fixed an area where killers couldn't follow survivors between a wall and a cactus so this is going to be uh, usually on the outer ring uh, at the end of the road with the sign for the town. Uh, but that tile does switch around from place to place. Haddonfield fixed a missing collision in the street that could cause users to fall out of the world. Now, I've heard about this, but I hadn't actually seen it for myself. Um, it was pretty, pretty funny stuff if you, if you got to take a look at that. Torment Creek. Fixed a superfluous collision preventing the users from getting up the basement stair when hugging the left wall in the silo. Uh, if you noticed, a lot of the time the basement stairs will have those pieces of wood sticking out. 
I guess they added a collision box to it, but they can't fix Huntress's collision hitboxes. Uh, the Nightmare, fix the interrupt animation. So when you're pulling people, you may have noticed some wonky animations on good old Freddy Boy. Uh, hopefully that's all fixed now. Fix an issue that displayed black bars under the survivor's name in lobbies. Honestly, didn't really know that was too much of an issue. I thought it was to show like ready up and stuff like that. Fixed an issue that caused the doctor's static blast to not be translated in other languages. So, it's uh, if you had some localization issues, there you go. Hopefully they get, took care of that for you. The ghost face. Fixed an issue that could cause the reveal to not work. So, survivors, uh, survivor mains, you might actually have fun playing against Ghostface now. For those who don't know, Ghostface is revealed when at least 80% of his body is within the camera, and he is not crouched behind slight or major cover. Uh, however, there was plenty of times where you could be right up his butt and still not reveal him. So hopefully this took care of that, because that is a huge pain. Especially because I like to play both sides, killer and survivor. Treatment Theater. Fixed an invisible collision that prevented projectiles from going through. Um, treatment Theater is Leary's. That's the doctor's map for those who don't know. So apparently hatchets and bottles and uh, the spear were having some issues going through things. I never noticed that, but maybe you did. The Clown. Fixed an issue that caused the bottles to disappear at mo a moment early after reloading. So that was kind of weird. Uh, again, didn't really have this myself, but kind of heard about it. So good thing that's taken care of. The shape. Fixed an issue that caused the shape's evil within extending add-ons to only increase the required stalking amount on the first activation of evil within 3. What that means is it didn't do it for every additional attempt at evil within 3 activations. So that's pretty good. Maybe Myers will be a little bit more fun to play now. Doesn't feel like it takes forever to get to evil 3. Uh, fix an issue that caused the perk for the people to activate when performing a heal skill check if it is bound to the same key as the skill check action. That's pretty interesting, actually. That's hilarious. The Death Slinger. Fixed the German description for the Death Slinger achievements. Glad they took care of that. Mount Ormond Resort. Fixed an issue that caused survivors to get stuck between a jigsaw box and a hill uh they i thought they took care of all that a couple mid chapter a couple hot fix patches ago but looks like there's still a couple jigsaw boxes out there causing us some grief treatment theater yet again uh fixed an issue that allowed survivors to land on top of a desk once they sprint vaulted a window on the second floor <clears throat> that's in the actual uh theater room itself in the middle treatment theater fixed a specific totem that was unable to be cleansed so this was propped in between some objects and uh, quite frustrating if you found it and it happened to be the Noed or something of the like. Um, Devour Hope, for example. Distortion Perk. Edited the description of the perk to better reflect its effect. For those who don't know, Distortion is the Jeff perk that allows your aura to not be read three times for a certain period of time. Um, so the description now better reflects what it's supposed to what it's supposed to do fixed an issue that caused users to be stuck when hooking or unhooking a survivor yeah it's not fun when you're hooking or unhooking a survivor as uh the killer or as the survivor and you can't move now when the killer comes up or your prey gets away who was trying to body block you Fix an issue that caused the female survivors to not scream when transitioning to the struggle phase on the hook. To be fair, most people probably didn't even notice that because everyone was too busy muting their game from Steve screaming. The Wraith. Fixed an issue that caused the uncloak animation to not cancel when canceling the uncloak action. I'm sure a lot of you f found this out whenever you played Wraith. It just keeps going. The Nightmare. Fixed an issue that caused the top part of the power description tool tip to be slightly cut off in windowed mode. I'm not sure who plays windowed mode, but there you go. Uh, Yui Kayamura, or Yui Kimura. Fixed an issue that caused Yui to briefly appear cross-eyed during her idle animation. Again, who actually paid attention to that? Cosmetics, the clown. Fixed an issue that caused the clown's tailcoat cosmetics to clip into his right calf. 
cool making it look a little bit more believable and uh keeping us immersed in the world of dead by daylight yui uh the sakura hapa sorry i'm terrible with pronunciations guys fix clipping issues with the sleeves zarina's draped cardigan fix clipping issues with the sleeves and neck the doctor's doctor vivisection uh fixed a visible gap between the neck and shirt mia's summit jacket fixed clipping issues on the neck david's hard headlights uh fixed visible seams during various actions things in mad world fixed a visible hole on the sleeve of the torso known issues the executioner aka pyramid head the malicious emblem points are not being awarded when sacrificing survivors in a cage atonement Cage of Atonement. Cage of Atonement is one of his abilities. It's kind of like a secondary hook option for those who haven't seen or played him yet. Um, there's also supposed to be a kill animation, which is not yet in the PTB for the Cage of Atonement. So hopefully uh, that should be out uh, by release. I was hoping we could get it in the PTB, but unfortunately it's not there. So thank you everybody for hanging out and enjoying this uh, and listening to me ramble. Um, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more, don't you don't forget to subscribe. And remember, stay safe out there in the fog. Have a good one.